Hi all, welcome back to Auto 17 Development Tutorials. In this video, let's discuss how to send email from code in Auto 17. Email is among the best and simplest communication channels offered by Auto. One of the quickest methods of information exchange between customers is via email. The main advantages of using email communications are it is fast client communication and easy to use and also emails is free to use. Here we will go through how to make an auto email template and how to send emails in auto 17 with only a click of a button. So auto offers the options to send emails uh, which might be useful for informing customers, partners, staff members or other interested parties. If you may know our module, it does not have the option to create and send emails. The auto platform can be customized to include this feature. So, to this video, uh, let's introduce how to send email uh, by a button click. So, let's get started. So, here is the custom module, education for managing the students in a school. So, here, I want to send an email for the guardian of the student. In this case, I can customize a new button uh, that is send email and uh, we need to add uh, the function for sending the email. So let's see how can we do that. Before that, we need to set outgoing email server from the settings. That is, I already said, uh, but I will show that. First of all, we need to enable use custom email servers and then we need to uh, click outgoing mail server and here I am defined uh, the outgoing email server and we need to ensure here according to the username and SSL TLS connection then we need to add the SMTP server and then username and password click on the test connection for ensuring it is connected successfully so connection test successful then let's move to education and my plan is here I'm going to add a send email button uh, which will uh, send an email to the guardian of the student so let's move to Python and then here inside the views uh, first we need to add that particular button already defined this uh, having the name action send email and the string is send email then uh, after that as we know we need to define a function for that so insert the python file so the model using is student dot student here the model is a uh, student dot student and instead the student dot student uh, file xml file i am added the button and also inside the Python file, I am added its uh, corresponding function. Then here I am added template equal to. So before that, here I had defined a template, email template name. So let's move to the template uh, that is the major part of the email. I am defined the template inside the data file student mail templates.xml. Let's open this file. So here, uh, this will be the record, that is, this will be the element uh, that is, that will be sent when we click that button. Here we can uh, choose a random ID for this template, that is uh, the simply email uh, template name, that we can change guardian email, and then the model is main door template for all mails. Uh, the tem uh, the model will be mail dot template, and then uh, we can set a name for this record. That is email template name. Here we can remove this and add guardian email. So after that, uh, we can set the model ID. That will be uh, we can add the reference for this model. That is education module name. Uh, dot uh, the model underscore our model name. Module name is education and then 
model underscore student dot student is our uh, model and instead of dot uh, we can add underscore and then here we can specify the subject of the mail and student information so for all emails the subject will be student information okay uh, then after that we can add email from the from email of the mail that is object user id dot email here the user id is michelle admin and the object dot user id dot email object will be here we can get inside this email template if we set model student underscore student so uh, we will get uh, the current uh, the current object that is from here we can get the student student object and from that we can get every data inside that student dot to student model so uh, from there we can call object dot required field name so here first we need to add two uh, brackets and inside that sorry two braces and inside that uh, inside the bracket after space uh, then bracket object dot or uh, the required field name here user id dot we need to uh, get the email get the email of the uh, current user so i have added like this and then partner to partner to means uh, in which we need uh, we are going to send email the person uh, the receiver of the email that is object dot uh, guardian id dot id here either we can add show email from here here as i'm not some in some templates it's uh, statically giving for dynamically adding the email we can take the object and we can take the required fields then also in the case of partner to the partner to will be the garden id dot id this is uh, our garden sorry guardian uh, so guardian id then field name uh, we can also add the description uh, then inside the field body html we can define the content that we need to uh, send the mail so here i have just added hello this is our first email template uh, and uh, by using the object we can also add the elements here so if we need to add the name of the student then we can just add inside two braces add object a dot uh, student id student name object dot name uh, and then it will add inside this template it will add the name of the student so this is about the template and then after that inside the um, python file for the button action send mail uh, we need to define the template so self dot env dot uh, rough uh, we know how to add the reference here the model module is education and the id guardian email so we defined the template then uh, after that uh, for the mail template dot this is send mail is a function uh, for sending the mails through python code so here we are adding self dot id for sequ for send equal to true so uh, self dot id means uh, the current id the current id of the student dot student will be passed to this corresponding template so here we get inside the object uh, we get the self dot id so by using that id uh, we can uh, add another other elements for the template so this is how to uh, call the send mail or mail function from the um, python file so this is about uh, the code for sending the mail so let's check how it is working or not so let's move to ui and upgrade the module Sorry, I just forget to add the file inside the manifest. 
so data student mail template dot html can just refresh here so here the button we added is here then this we can click send email so an error is so good let's check education dot guardian email so we can upgrade it again Then inside the mail, uh, the mail is received uh, having the subject, you can see student information uh, and the content is hello. This is our first email template and Michelle ID. So uh, this is simply uh, how to send email by using code inside Auto 70. Thank you for watching the video.